Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to use the related files get from Salesforce. Okay, so before we jump into it, let's talk a little bit about files and how they are related to our object. So in this instance, we're looking at an account and we have some files related to that account and you can have files related to any object in Salesforce. So what happens behind the scenes is that whenever you upload a file, three things happen. So the first thing that happens is that we have a content version. So we have the content version actually holds the file itself. After the, the content version was created, then we have a content document. Content version has to belong to a content document, which basically every content document can have many versions in it. Whenever we upload the content version using a Titan or directly from Salesforce or from an API, you name it, what we do is we have the first published location. So the first published location ID basically tells us where that we initially related to. In our instance, it would be an account and that will hold the account and then we'll have the version data and that's basically our file. But what happens behind the scenes many times, the first published location ID gets replaced with that user ID that uploaded the document. So we have the content version, we have the content document, where, how do we know to which um, account now our file belongs to? For that reason, we have the content document link. Since any file can be presented on many objects across Salesforce, then we can relate that content document with the content document link. So if we'll take a look at the content document link, we can see we have a content document ID and then linked entity ID. We have some more stuff over here with share type and visibility. Uh, we don't care about, um, much about that right now. So our junction here is content document and linked entity ID. And then we have the content document again, which can underneath, basically this is the parent that combines everything together. So we have the content document, content version is related to the content document and the content document link basically relates the object where the content document should appear. So in this instance, if we will look at the content document link, we will have a link between this content document to the account and this is why it's appearing here. So if we want to get that version, the content version, which basically where our file resides, we need to query all three objects. Or we can do it with two if we're um, looking at the content document and then sh just looking at the content version, um, content document ID. So if we'll take a look at the content version, we'll have content document ID somewhere. And there it is. And this is basically what we need. To save you through all that trouble of querying all three objects, and we have, uh, let me just uh, throw something in here. So we'll start uh, with a form, and I'll show you how that's done in the web as well. Um, let's just go like this, and we'll add something over here. And we'll map that image from Salesforce. So what we had to do in the past is go through these uh, three objects or two objects. So we'll have to query content document link. We'll have to query uh, content document and content version as well. Uh, what we've added for you is a nice syntactic sugar. You don't have to do all this anymore. It's just one simple query and we do all the hard work behind the scenes for you. So let's do a lookup. And let's connect that to, I can do that statically as well. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, account, no conditions, value is my account ID. Account name will be displayed. Uh, let's go to our image. And we'll say, give it a name. Perfect. We'll head back to our Salesforce integration and we will look for related files. That's it. Get related 
files from Salesforce. And in our condition, if you will notice the fields here, it actually returns content version because this is what we want to end up with. So the only thing we got to do is first publish location ID, even though that we're doing that behind the scenes for you. So we're going to go and query content document link and return all the content versions that are related to that object. So um, the only thing you got to do here is first publish location ID equals to your um, object ID in my instance is a lookup and I'm looking up accounts and the only thing we have to do is map the version data that's that resides on the content version object so we'll find our image and in this instance we're mapping it to the URL so we'll say version data and apply and finish let's make this image a little bigger And let's search for an account. So let's say gene point, since we know we have some images over there and we'll select it. And we got one since we just limited it to one. So we'll say all, we don't want just the first match that we get. We'll hit save, refresh it. And we'll say gene point again, select it. And we can see we're getting more than one. It's loading. And there it is. We have all of our images. Same thing goes for Titan Web. Um, so we have just a simple portal here. Um, let's just make sure this strip is repeated. I'm just keeping it really simple. And we will do the same thing. We can drop a lookup and we'll say account and mapping values my account ID, text account name, apply. Let's drop an image over here. Actually, we want that lookup in a different uh, strip, so let's just say this is not repeated. And I'll add a strip since we don't want to repeat that um, lookup. Okay, this one can be a lot smaller. Perfect. We can call this uh, find an account or whatever. I'm just going to keep it just like so. drop an image over here and I'm gonna say I want it from Salesforce and we'll create a new get and again we'll search for related files and we don't have to go through the whole process the only thing we gotta do is uh, just give it that first published location in our instance from the lookup it could be from a parameter or anything you like and we'll say up to uh, 30 records conditions first published location ID equals our lookup value which is our account id in this instance and we can sort it however you like let's jump right to the mapping and we'll map the version data to our image so we'll hit apply and we'll close we'll save let's make the image a little bit bigger Save this and let's preview. Okay, so we want to find gene point. And we want to make sure our strip is repeated. So we forgot that we're returning a, a list of data and we did not repeat the strip. So let's repeat this and we will save it let's refresh and we will say again gene point and there we have it we have all of our related files coming back from 
um, our account in this instance and again that could be any object and just refer to this as a like syntactic sugar a way to help you uh, just get the related files without worrying about all the relationships between the different objects in Salesforce and that's how it's done.